At this point in Cyan Engine Mod 6, we're pretty feature complete, so I thought I'd make a video highlighting all the main features of the new mod. So, the first thing you'll notice when you first flash it is that it's using ADW Launcher instead of the default Launcher 2. ADW Launcher has this bar at the bottom as well as a dock bar that you can access and add shortcuts to. Um, right now I have it restricted to just one screen since I have all of my important stuff here. Um, another thing that you can do in ADW which is a really really highly customizable launcher is you can set it to more than four in each column and row on the home screen. So right now I have a 5x5 five five setup but you can also control um, the size of a widget that you add. For example if I wanted to add calendar I can make it one by one, but depending on the widget you'll have layout issues as seen. Um, now let's look in the settings for ADW Launcher. It's added into the default um, Android settings, so we can open it up and these are all the settings you can have. There's screen preferences, there's drawers, you, you really just have to look through all of them yourself because there are tons in this thing you can truly make the launcher your own. Now let's take a look at the meat of CyanogenMod Mod 6 I'd say. The Cyanogen Mod settings. Rather than everything being in in spare parts and cluttered and everything there's a new menu option that has all of the settings c clustered into kind of ha what they what categories they fall under. So here we have application settings, we have input settings, performance settings, and user interface. Let's look at application settings. You can choose the install location. However, right now it's still using the Froyo apps to SD, which puts stuff on your FAT32 partition, and a lot of people just aren't a fan of. Um, I think Chris Sawyers is working on a way to make it use the old apps to SD method if you want as well. We also have Bro Tips. Bro Tips is kind of it kind of highlights a lot of the jokes inside of the Android community at this time. Um, so let's go ahead and enable it. Again, I can choose how big I want it. Since I'm at 5x5, five five, I'm going to make it 5x1 five so it spans the entire home screen. The first bro tip is the infamous Kang bro tip. Um, and you know who it's about, what it's about. Um, then there's the Balmer Peak, which again makes sense. There's Blame Wes because everything is his fault. The iPhone and the rules of Sanjay Mod and the number one priority of his WinZip dev. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. Those are the bro tips and you can see them whenever you want. And that's it for this menu. Let's look at input settings. In input settings you can control the haptic feedback which is the feedback you feel when you press these buttons as well as enable a screen haptic feedback. Um, they're actually really, really customizable. As you can see, you can set the on time, the off time, etc. They're pretty, they're pretty um, customizable depending on what you want. Um, there's also the long press home settings, which the re the recent apps title is the title on this. It says recent. Um, I don't have many apps because I rebo re rebooted before recording this video. Um, there's also the number of recent apps. You can have 8, 12, or 15, 8 being the default. Um, 12 is what we're set to right now, or what I'm set to right now, because I like having that many. You can also have a custom application start whenever you hold the home key. So I'm going to go ahead and set um, applications uh, barcode scanner to start. So if I hold barcode scanner, or if I hold home, barcode scanner starts. That's a pretty neat little thing, but I like having the recent apps dialog. Um, there's also trackball wake, trackball unlock, and menu unlock. These options are pretty self-explanatory. Pressing the trackball wakes the phone, pressing trackball unlocks the phone, and pressing menu unlocks the phone. We also have performance settings. Um, these are actually, they're not meant to be messed with by the end user, and if you do mo modify them, you are kind of lose your ability to file bug reports. Um, you can enable disable JIT as well as the VM heap size. Um, there's user interface tweaks, all the YZ color mods that 
you're used to. Let's go ahead and yeah. As well as um, 180 degree rotation, which wasn't included in Froyo till now, and a web view option. Uh, that's it for Cyanogen Mod settings. Let's go ahead and take a look at the music app. I'm going to bring up my Power Strip, which is a really nice app that I think you guys should use. You can actually pull it up within any application. So right now I'm in browser and have my Power Strip up. But let's look at the music widget. The music widget is it's new, it's different, and there's a 4x1 or 4x4, 4x2, 4x1, and I think a 2x2. Two two. And I'm going to hit play. It starts playing music. Uh, I can go ahead and open it, and these are my artists and everything. If you start playing a song, Bravery, Stir the Blood, Slow Poison, it actually shows a live wallpaper in the background, which is kind of nice. Um, let's go back home. A lot of the Sanjay Mod tweaks you're used to, like all the the alarm clock settings and everything, have been added in as has the transparent notification you know just all the all the stuff you're used to in messaging you can set the trackball color as well as the trackball frequency uh, and yeah those are the new cyanogen mod settings um, keep a lookout for it it should be dropping soon and remember you can always use the team douche nightlies um, there there, if you join IRC Cyanage Mod, you can see the nightlies, and there's a new one compiled every night as well as in between, depending on if there's a feature that needs to be tested. Um, you're free to download them. The only thing we ask is that you don't file any bug reports, because well, we, we're, we'll probably find most of the bug reports considering we have a lot of people testing it. Um, that's it for Cyanogen Mod. Keep a lookout for it. It should be out fairly soon. Um, just trying to kind of make it, make everything perfect, like every Cyanogen release. Thanks for watching.